Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we have for you guys is a quick video on how to properly use Mortis. Now I know Mortis is definitely a fan favorite brawler with everybody in Brawl Stars. Doesn't matter who you are, you either love to watch Mortis, which a lot of you guys do, or you just despise Mortis. And the only reason you despise Mortis is because of your random teammates. Well today I'm going to teach you how to properly play Mortis in every single mode that's going to be available to us on ladder today. So I believe it's going to be four different modes, but we're going to be showing you guys the proper strats, how to properly use Mortis in all these modes, and how to not be a bad mortis random so with that being said let's hop into the games and let's get things going all right so here we go into our first game we're going to be going up against another mortis so what you want to do straight off the bat is kind of just pick up who you want to be targeting the entire game so obviously we're not going to be going for this primo going for a primo as a mort obviously isn't a good strategy so what you want to do is you want to go for uh, the opponent that you can kill easiest by dashing into it so for us it's going to be ems so ems has three different gadgets right now that's going to help her stay alive from us right uh, we don't want the ball the ball is not something you want. So we just want to continuously target this M's. You guys can see right now we get one kill over there. But basically we're not useless. But we're not that great until we get super. So if you're getting kills without using your super. That's pretty good. As you guys can see we're one shot here from super. And something that kind of defines what a good mortis is. Is if you can hit multiple people with your bats. It's very important. So as you guys can see right there. We hit three people with the bats. And we're just chaining bats over here. We're, easy, we're able to get really easy kills. Because literally all we need to do is chain those bats. You guys see we end up getting the team wipe over there. Alec has the ball. He's probably going to go for some trick shot pass play. I don't know. He actually trick shots the ball in. Fudge misses his super. But you guys can tell that right off the bat what we did was we went with a really easy just triple bats move. We're going to pick up the ball. Just put that one in. Oh, the mortis catches it actually. But you guys can see how important hitting multiple people is with bats. I'm going to try and bait this guy. He might just be giving up. He's going to put it in his own net. But anyways, that was kind of a bad example of what to do. Because we did kind of pop off with the multiple bats. So that does help. Or I guess it is tornadoes nowadays um with this skin but we want to be facing a squishier target now unfortunately we didn't face one in this game so this is going to be a pretty bad matchup for mortis so even though we got star uh we could have done a lot better so with that being said we're going to hop into our next game and hopefully there's an easier target that we can pick on for the entirety of the game all right so here we go into our next game so we're going to be going up against tara primo and poco so again we're going to stay away from that primo and what we're going to be doing right now is targeting the poco so we're going to go forward and just you know kind of just take care of this poco pretty easily there's nothing that it can really do to us um, unless it just gets healed and we don't have shots required. Now, obviously, with a Mortis, you can dribble. That's what Mortis is most famously known for is dribbling in Brawl Ball or being the bad random teammate. Um, but basically, that's like that's not at all what you want to do, if I'm going to be honest with Mortis. If you have a clear goal with dribbling, then obviously go for it. But that shouldn't be your goal when playing Mortis. That shouldn't be what you're trying to achieve when playing Mort. You want to be getting bats. You want to be getting kills because you actually are pretty good at getting kills with Mort nothing you know too hard about it you kind of just dash into people try and hit multiple targets at the same time and the gadget is obviously really good i'm really excited for when the next gadget comes out because we're going to see exactly how op that is but i feel like the new gadget could actually be pretty good so you guys see over here we're able to get another kill unfortunately we unfortunately we are going to go down but it should be fine because we do have a tara and a level four surge on our team which usually means w's as you guys can see but again we're going to be going with that strat of just going for the poco we are one shot out off of super which is really good but unfortunately we're going to get solo pulled by that tara budge and alec are doing their job right now and again this is a pretty bad start for me but a mortis isn't really like a consistent brawler you kind of just go in and then one time you kind of just pop off so we're able to get a kill over there uh, i'm going to be going towards this tara it's going to use a few shots which is obviously really good for us i'm not going to use gadget because even though i could have gadget doesn't give us a super charge and obviously the super is really important with this brawler so we want to be able to get that charge Primo is very likely to jump. Obviously, we want to stay away from that Primo. Going to be hitting those double bats over there. So pretty good. Hopefully, we can hit this Tara. We will be able to, and we're going to bats the Tara as well. So it's looking pretty solid. Alex going to pass the ball up. Unfortunately, we have to take out this very annoying Tara minion. So that's going to take down our health, and we're going to have to regen again. Alex going to be looking to do a play, but it looks like he's kind of failing right now at setting it up. Uh, they're kind of lined up, so maybe we can go for a play, or maybe I can hit a dribble and go for a goal. Almost able to do it. Unfortunately, not going to be able to, but Fudge does have his super. He is going to be able to hit that solo pull, 
and I think he's going to pass it to Alec, and we're going to be able to win this game. So you guys can see, again, we didn't necessarily pop off this game like we did the first game, but we have a target. We went for the Primo zero times. You don't want to be going for a target that you just can't kill, and you're going to feed their super, because you do have a lot of HP. And if you are going for a Bull, a Shelly, a Primo, something like that, you are going to feed in the entirety of its super, and you're just going to throw for your team. You're going to make it a three on two and just give them supers. So with that being said, we're going to do one more Brawl Star, or not Brawl Star, sorry, one more Brawl Ball game. So let's hop into it, and again, let's see if we can find that weak opponent and kind of just pick it apart throughout the entirety of the game all right so here we go into our next game so this game we're going to be facing bb uh what is it a uh, daryl i almost said tank and sandy sandy by the way is a male it is a he not a she just so you guys know i do know what it is i just got maybe got confused for one video but anyways we're going to be going for the bb over here because it doesn't have shield we're going to back off because we probably would have went down to that daryl over there so we're just going to chill we're going to move behind fudge and wait for our uh, our star power to kick in which is obviously that long shot um we're gonna wait a little bit obviously we don't want to go right towards a daryl because that really wouldn't be the best strat in the world we're gonna be able to pick up one kill over there maybe two yeah we're gonna be able to get two kills so a pretty good play over there when we went in i don't think the daryl's gonna score it looks like alec does have the ball i'm just gonna hide in this bush because we are one shot to super again so we can make a really good play out of that gonna go for the bats we're able to get two kills over there but we're gonna be able to get all three of them on their team and we are gonna be able to score this goal alec does refuse to pass the ball he's gonna put a smiley face and put that ball in the net so it's gonna be a one to nothing lead for us so again with mortis as you guys see you really do want to go in when they're all clumped up because those bats do make you very lethal now the b or not the bb sorry the uh the daryl did have that ball so that we were able to go for it because its shotgun wasn't available Alex going to pass it. We're going to hit a dribble over there. We're going to try and squeeze it in. Not going to be able to. There's a lot going on over here. We're going to be able to pick up two with our super. We're just going to pick up the ball. In round two, we're going to be able to put that one right in the net very easily. And that is going to be it for Brawl Ball. So we showed you guys three games of Brawl Ball. We got star player in two of them, even though we didn't necessarily have the best matchups or anyone we counter. Now we're going to switch over to a different mode and show you guys how to use Mortis in those modes properly. All right, so here we go into Stone Fort. Now, this isn't really the best map for Mort. In fact, it's actually one of the worst maps for Mort since it's kind of a tank meta. But if you just use our strategies, it should be really easy to just do well. So we're facing a Mr. P and a Tara. So obviously we're not going to go to the side of the Rosa. So we're just going to go straight for this Mr. P over here. And we miss one shot, but even then, really easy kill for us. Nothing that he can do. And again, this Tara, almost able to get that kill. We were just one second away, but it's able to get the kill on us. Now again, we're just going to go on the opposite side of this Rosa. We're going to give it a little bit of a smile and just avoid it. Try and stay away. We're able to get one shot off on it as it's being kind of wild right now. But we're just going to move to the side, try and be able to get their Mr. P over here. Let's see, Alex should be, Alex almost gets that tar, he's not going to be able to. But we're just going to sneak onto that Mr. P, he's got no clue we're here. And this is going to be a really easy kill for us. We're going to be able to get this Rosa as well. Now we don't want to pick up the gems, because we're an aggro player and Mort doesn't want the gems. Because if you have the gems, then you can't be as aggro, obviously. So we're going to take one shot at this Rosa, reason being because we're going to hit double bats. I don't think we hit it though, we should have, but we're going to stay alive either way um so let's see there's a penguin right here and by penguin i mean mr p so again able to pick up a really easy kill over there now there is a rosa here but it really can't do anything to us alex going to be able to pick up the kill fudge with the pull and really there's nothing that these guys can do for to do bleh, to us i almost forgot english for a sec there and again a really bad map for us not the greatest matchup for us but we're able to just use really easy basic strategies and we're able to get star player now we're going to hop into the next mode which i believe is bounty i'm not sure we're going to take a peek but anyways let's get into it and let's keep going all right so here we go now on to hot zone now hot zone's a little bit of a rough one especially for mortis we're going to try and make it work so we have to jump in here we don't really have a choice of not doing so okay but i don't really like it in here so let's go over here i guess we're probably going to go down right now oh we're able to stay away so we have to stay on this left one because there's no way out of the right and we can't shoot through these walls so we just got to chill over here so again we want to go for the weaker targets we want to make things work trying to bait out a shot there we go you guys see we baited out one from that nita so now there's nothing that nita can do we're going to be able to get the kill hopefully this thing doesn't shoot us oh this is such a hard map to play with mortis but we're going to try and figure it out so i think we're just going to walk up that left side actually we can just use the launch pad over here gonna jump in it's gonna be a needy here probably a hyper bear and this is a very bad recipe for us alec is gonna go down fudge is gonna be able to push them back fudge is kind of bossing out right now but there's nothing really that we can do i'm just gonna stand in this zone for a second i'm gonna get hit so i gotta try and get into their spawn somehow and try and figure this out um so i'm gonna go over here we're gonna oh 
come on gonna be able to get one kill over there now it's not that great because they do have a pretty good control right now but i don't think that there's much i can do outside of just waiting over here and trying to figure this out as long as they don't have full control of right which i don't think they do then we should be fine i'm just gonna run up over here there should be a hyper bear i'm gonna use my gadget gonna be able to get a kill over there alec isn't able to 2v3 which is pretty pretty fair 2v3 is quite hard so hopefully fudge can stay in there and i can just help him out um i'm gonna go for this guy over here gonna be able to kill him oh this is looking like a gg this is not looking very good for us at all i'm gonna be able to get one kill over there we're not gonna be able to get the nita and that's looking like it's gonna be a gg so it is kind of close but mortis cannot work here so for you mortis players that think it can work anywhere it cannot do not do it hot zone is not the strat now the next mode might actually surprise you guys a little bit you guys might be a little bit shocked but we can actually get mortis working there now i wouldn't suggest it obviously because there are probably 25 to 30 to maybe 38 better options for the next mode but what we're going to be showing you with our strategy of just trying to bully that kind of like weak player that's not really good against mortis it can be very effective so with that being said let's hop into the next mode and let's show you guys what's up all right so here we go into our final game and it is actually going to be siege so we're going to be going up against Bo, gale and uh what is it i think it's bow gale and sprout so we're gonna usually we can get first bolt but because we have gale we don't have to but all we have to do is kind of just chill on one side and not let them get bolt so this sprout there is no way that this sprout is going to be able to kill me there's just a zero percent chance we gotta wait to see where the next bolt is okay they all spawn mid so all i have to do is just walk up to the sprout like so be able to get a kill and right there we're able to get two really quick kills and alex is going to be able to pick up that bolt now i'm going to go on the left because that's where the next bolt is and we want to be able to get bolts our main target here is obviously just to collect these and to wreck havoc. So obviously we can't really do that much safe damage, but what we can do is try and kill their defenders. So that's what we try and do here. It doesn't really matter if we die. We're just going to try and kill them. Oh, we're going to hit a box twice. That's kind of awkward. But we're going to stay alive. So we're almost going to be able to get two of them. We get one and basically one and a half is basically what we get. Uh, but anyways, so far pretty good. We're just chilling on the side trying to get bolts again. There's no way a sprout can kill us or anything like that. So we're doing pretty well. I think we're going to go down here. That wasn't really a fight I should have taken, but we're still able to capture the bolt either way, which is all that matters. And again, it's looking pretty good because as you guys can see, we're not facing any counters. We're just playing it right, jumping in, you know, doing our thing. Don't really have to go in too far there because we just need to get the bolt. Now this game is totally about bolts. Whoever gets this next bot wins. So that's all we need to do is get bolt, retreat, get bolt, retreat. That's literally it. That's the name of the game right now. And that's all we're doing. We've collected the last three bolts against this bow. I can't get that one, but we can sacrifice one bolt. Alec is going to teleport into the middle. So what are we going to do? We're just going to walk around and get that bolt. This bow is one shot. So we're going to just try and like scare it a little bit. Try and collect this. Going to bring it back here for our team. It's pretty close right now. We actually might lose. And I think I blame Fudge if we do lose because he's not holding lane. But we're going to go for this bolt over here. Again, we've collected most of our team's bolts so far. Things are looking pretty good. Hopefully one spawns left. Okay, it doesn't. I'm going to have to get this kill over here. We're going to be able to do so. I'm going to collect this last bolt. And I think we might have collected like seven or eight this round. Because of that bolt, we were able to win this siege, which is going to give us the W. And again, Mortis is going to be able to work here because we play it properly. Mortis is probably a top 15 brawler. Just nobody in the game plays this brawler properly. Everyone just thinks you dribble with Mortis or you go into a tank and that's how you win. That's clearly not the strategy. So even in a mode where you guys think Mortis isn't really good, we collected more than half of our team's bolts. We held lane basically the entirety of the game and we got some kills on top of that. But anyways, it's going to be it for the video. I would really only suggest playing more in like gem grab or in brawl ball because that's really the only places you should be playing Mortis. But it should be really easy wins if you just follow these easy strategies, these easy tips to get really good at Mortis and to play him properly. But anyways, it's going to be it for today as always hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment down below but that's going to be it for today i'll catch you guys again tomorrow peace nice